Why, hello there, Isai says. Isai says, I'm a big boy, and my mom's going to throw me the ball. And you know what I say, Isai? You are a big boy, and I'm about to throw it. Are you ready? Are you ready, Isai? Yes! He's so fast. Why, hello there, hello there, hello there, hello there. I want to show you something over here. Because it made me sad, you know, even though I'm homeless too. But check this out. So, obviously somebody homeless made this. What's up? Please come here. And they made some little sticks for their dinner, you know, which is, was some corn. Here's what they were stirring it with. You know, they were respecting the woods because there are no fires. They were hungry. And that makes me so sad to know that someone had one can of corn. And it makes me grateful because we have tons of food. I mean, SpaghettiOs, ramen, soups. You know, as long as I have enough butane, you know, the food is plenty. And it makes me sad. A can of corn for dinner. Um, I think God just kind of put that uh, for me to... So that I have to be grateful, you know? Homelessness might suck, but I have to be grateful. Isha, Isha, would you like a bone? Would you like a, would you like a bonkers? Hey, 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 leave it. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Good boy. That's the only way I can get his ball from him these days. Are you ready? Should we do it that way? Or this way? This way? Or that way? That way? Okay, ready? Are you ready? <sighs> oh, he's like, wait, where'd it go? Find it! Find it! Find it! Find it, Isa. Where's your ball? Go get it, Isa. I think he thought I threw it the other way. Oh! Good boy! That's his style right there. He's a good boy. Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to try to talk about a little gratitude. Because that's pretty much what I've been doing all day. Um, I'm grateful that we have the lights over there that we can just turn on um, in the night. It kind of makes it festive. Great, So grateful for this. Um, a random person. Hopefully he watches my videos. Um gave that to us at one of our very first campsites uh, when I told him our story. And this, this is a game changer right here. If you ever go homeless, make sure you somehow get a solar panels because it just changes everything. I mean, look at this beautifulness. You see how beautiful it is? I mean, imagine if I was back in the city where we are. It's like 105, 110. We got nice cloudy skies above. Kind of. Um, gotta be grateful for that, right? Because it could be really, really hot. I'm grateful for this cookie right here. His name is Isha. And he wants me to throw the ball again. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready, Isha? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, he's learning to catch. Titi, <laughs> where is it? Did, did you find it? Oh, it's right there. Isha, find it. Find a bone. Find a bone. He's more he's more concerned with uh, me throwing the ball. Ready? Wait. Ready? Whoa! Oh, TT. What a good boy. You're a good boy. Here, I got a cookie. I got a cookie. You gotta sit down. Sit. Hey. See, he wants to guards that ball. You ready? You want a cookie? Gotta sit nice. Hey, sit nice. You want the cookie? One, two, three. Oh, ah, shit. I couldn't pick it up fast enough. He was coming. Let's explore just a little, Lisa. So, grateful for the weather. I'm grateful that I have the ability to be grateful because... I could be looking at all of this like, oh my gosh, my son, and oh my gosh, my truck, and oh my gosh, my tent, and I'm living in a tent, and oh, woe is me, you know, but I seem to have learned that um, self-pity makes you not move forward, you know, self-pity, I mean, even if 
things aren't moving forward no matter how hard I try. It's nothing new, you know. We've been doing this for quite some time. Let's go, babe. Let's go over here. Let's go over here with your ball. Maybe he'll give it to me in a little bit. I just really need two hands with him. There's a fence over there. You got to be careful. I kind of want to go around along the fence because I do see people go over here. I saw one person last night. If you saw my uh, short where the where the van man came and I said, if I die. He actually came last night. He wasn't even close. No, what's this? Is that... Ew, what is that? Like a bone? Is that calcium? <laughs> what is those little dots in the bone? Yeah, but see, here's the site we came to before. Um, where he tried to get poop. I go there. Oh, no. oh, he says, I poop. He says, I poop at every video. Oh, man, you don't have to go. Get your... Get your... There you go. I don't have his leash with me. That was stupid. Come on. But we won't go far. I mean, look at this. This is nature. What do you think it looks like? I think it looks like a gorilla. Or he is like... I am king of the forest, and I protect you and protect all. And kind of this way, I don't know, I'm getting a low battery. This way it kind of looks like a war pig. See his pig nose? His pig nose is right there, see it? Or a bear, look at it, it's a bear. He's like, hello, bears don't come near them. I am the bear. <laughs> huh, TT? Don't go by that toilet paper, I will throw up. Let's just explore a little bit. I don't want him to come near that fence. Asa, stay over here by me. Hey, stay over here by me. Let's see if there's a little trail over here or something. Yeah, you said TT. I don't like walking through this grass right here because it like makes my my shins all itchy. Hopefully you don't see a bear or a mountain lion. Last night, I heard, like, these, or was the day before, I heard, like, these weird, like, cackling noises, and I messaged my friend, Audrey, and I said, is there, um, hyenas in Arizona? And what the fuck? There is hyenas. He said, I says, I eat the hyenas. You don't worry about a thing. I said, okay, so I won't. Okay, so it looks like this. We'll have to explore more tomorrow because my phone's about to die. <clears throat> hey, 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 don't eat anything in there. Don't eat anything. So if my phone cuts off, because the bear ate us, ate me, he'll, he'll probably run or something. Hey, don't eat anything down there. Today he tried to eat this big, I don't know what the fuck it was, like a big old humongous bubble bumblebee but it was like half bumblebee half like dragon i don't know what the hell it was and it was on the ground and he was trying to eat it i'm like no 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 and then i went to go grab it and he snapped at me and he never does that like i can lay next to him if he's eating a bone he doesn't even care about anything asa grab your ball get your ball where's your ball at go get it it's right there there it is. Yeah, we got to explore a little more tomorrow. See if we can get through this fence. But, and I know you can get through this fence because there's this girl that, this lady that walks her dog down here and then she's gone. So she's, her dogs, she somehow gets through this gate over here. But somebody came last night and they were like over there. So I'm not really sure. TT. Yeah, but it looks like different over there. Um, there's a mountain called Mount Humphreys, I believe. And if my friend Brianna's watching, I'm like, hey, there might, oh, what the fuck? What is over there? Looks like a horse trough. Last night I thought it was a bear. I heard, Urgh! but maybe it's like cows. Maybe we'll see how we can get over there tomorrow and explore. Yeah, but hopefully those people aren't there and they're like, look at that girl. She's uh, taking pictures of us going poop, poop, and peep, peep. And I say, so, 
We are not. That is disgusting. He says, I know. I know. No, oh, leave the butter free. Anyways, we're going to head back. Um, my phone's probably going to die. We aren't too far. Tent's right over there. Uh, people usually don't come down here at all, knock on wood. But there are some people kind of close, not kind of close, but they could hear my scream <laughs> if they wanted, I mean, if I screamed. So that makes me grateful too. And look at him. That's his sock ivory. Get your bong, come here. Come here with your toes. Oh, TJ. <laughs> I love him so. And, oh, do you hear that? What the fuck? And once again, for those of you that say, oh, get rid of your dog. If it wasn't for this poochie woochie here, I'll guarantee you I wouldn't have been alive. The crying that I've done, the pain that I've experienced, and for him to dig his head in my armpit or, you know, underneath my neck and, you know, cuddle up with me at night. I feel safe. I don't feel alone. And, you know, they do say with emotional support pets that they are fantastic and they are. So, huh, TT? TT, you want to come say bye bye to everyone? Come here. Come here. Gotta say bye bye. Say bye bye, everyone. I gave you a cookie, okay? Gotta sit nice. Hey, sit nice. Say, my name is Isha. And I say goodbye, everyone. We say goodbye, everyone. Say goodbye, everyone. We're going to be okay. We promise. And we're having fun right now. Regardless of the situation, we're being grateful. And we're cuddly poopies. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I missed all of them. That was just his kibble. Yeah, so. Have a beautiful night. Thanks for watching. People seem to like our exploration videos. Like watching the sweet Aisha. Aisha Kari. Come. Come. Hurry. Let's go. This way. Hurry. No, go get your ball. Go get your ball. Hurry. And I kind of like it too. Because someday I'm going to look back at this and be like, now I won the lottery. Or now I created an invention. Or something. And started from the bottom. Now we're here. Right, Aisha? God's plan. God's plan. I listened to that song a couple of days ago and I'm like, what? I just like the God's, God's plan part. TT, say bye-bye, guys. All right, you guys, have a great night. Okay, bye.